In Windsor, Ontario, it seems as though there are many services that are offered to those in need in the area, whether they be just under the poverty line or completely homeless. However, most organizations fail to create a sense of community. William Miller, a man who has experienced being poor and living on the streets, illustrates this point. We need to we need to address the real situation. It's not just it's not something you can just throw money at. All the people that are in this situation, even the ones that are like really poor, but in a place like myself right now, um, we don't have a support system. We don't have family. We don't have a network of friends. We have no one we can call for help. Some associations, like the Salvation Army, recognize that they aren't perfect. It's not that they don't want to provide community, it's just that their first priority was helping the poor with their basic needs. You know, sometimes uh, um, the things we offer are not necessarily meeting the needs of people, and so therefore it can create uh, probably a negative experience for people and for us. And uh, so one of the things that we're um, keen on doing is identifying the gaps uh, and see if there's something that we, the Salvation Army, can do to meet that need. However, they do plan on doing something about this in the future. We do plan on adding a chaplain so that there's consistency in the spiritual care department and so that uh, that individual can help to work, build community and build relationships with people that uh, we are serving. This future project may need to become reality very soon. As humans, the third need found in Maslow's hierarchy of needs is love and belonging, demonstrating that in order to reach the final stage of self-actualization, we need to achieve a feeling of community. Probably the, the worst thing about this is that when you don't have family and friends, it's only a matter of time before you end up putting your own rent at risk trying to get that next step. You don't just need food and shelter, you also need love. The Downtown Mission believes that an important step in creating community is trying to get on the same level as the people they are helping. Um, I think in order to be a community, you have to you have to be able to to feel what they are feeling, and and not necessarily have gone through it, but at least be able to, to feel it. But the situation of community in Windsor isn't all negative. Some locals are stepping their game up to make people feel cared for. A lot of places here, a lot of the businesses were very very helpful too. Some of them let me sleep on their patios. You know, when I felt like I was in danger, they'd let me sleep on their patio under a camera. While people are starting to recognize the need for community with the poor in Windsor, they still have a ways to go before they completely achieve it. Taylor Westenberg, The30.ca